First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 10 and verse 16 to 20. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wrong. Hear the orphan's plea, defend the widow. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they may be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tuzzles. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. In this world, all of us would like to be the greatest, would like to be respected, would like to be the first would like to be a boss, a leader. And to achieve this, my dear friends, we do hold degrees and we do turn ourselves into higher education and we too like to own our own enterprise, our own company. And at times, my dear friends, we invest money, we buy shares, all these things we do because we would like to be the greatest, the leader and a boss. All these aspects are very good aspects, my dear friends. Jesus never says not to be successful. We need to be successful. That is the grace of the Lord. That is what he is expecting from you and me. But while we are succeeding, we must inquire we must reflect what is my attitude within me. What is my attitude within me? When I become a leader, when I become the boss, when I am respected, when I be the greatest, then what is the attitude within me, my dear friends? So, today Jesus, in his teaching, he draws our attention to the Pharisees and the teachers of the Lord. What did Jesus say? He says, my dear friends, you shall do and observe all they say, but do not do 
as they do. Jesus teaches the people, do what they say, but do not do what they do. Because of what? They do not practice the things that they say, my dear friends. Jesus says very clearly, my dear friends, they do not do what they say. And what did these Pharisees and the teachers of the law want? They wanted the first place. They wanted to be respected and they did everything to be seen by others. To be seen by others. That was their attitude. That was their attitude. They wanted the first chair. They wanted the first place in the market. That is what they wanted. And that is why, my dear friends, they were trying to be a leader. They were trying to be the greatest. That was their attitude. And Jesus says very clearly today, my dear friends, let the greatest among you be the servant of all. For whoever makes himself great shall be humbled. The one who wants to be the greatest, be the servant first of all. He needs to be humble himself. If you want to be a leader, first humble yourself. Yes, it is true that you are educated, that you have the potentiality that you have all the qualifications, but it does not mean that you need to put yourself up. You need to put your self-esteem up by yourself. No, my dear friends, that is what Jesus is threatening these Pharisees of, and the teachers of the law, my dear friends. Do not do as they do, my dear friends. So. When you take yourself down, when you are humble enough, what happens? Lord will take you higher. Lord will make you the greatest. Not me, myself making me greatest, but it is the Lord that will make you greatest when you humble yourself before him. Therefore, let us try, today, let us try to take this message and live up to it.